so uh, this is an interesting uh, question in the sense that uh, air pollution is the uh, immediate uh, uh, sort of uh, thing that we feel in our day to day life on the other hand greenhouse gas emissions contributing to climate change is not something that we actually experience ourselves uh, the two problems are scientifically different in the sense that the pollutants which cause air pollution are not necessarily the ones contributing to climate change however in both the cases the root cause is uh, use of uh, petrol diesel uh, fossil fuels in general and therefore uh, whether you are trying to address air pollution or you are trying to address climate change the solution set is more or less the same uh, for cities and this is not just uh, for chile but all developing countries even in india uh, we are facing the same problem that all our cities have uh, very poor air quality uh, throughout the year uh, so the solutions are actually known to everybody we basically need to reduce the number of vehicles on the roads now in order to do that uh, two things need to happen and both of these are uh, they, they need to happen from the government side uh, in the sense that when uh, roads are constructed priority should be given to uh, pedestrians and uh, cyclists so non motorized transport basically bicycles and pedestrians should have the first right of the way followed by public transport there has to be efficient and affordable uh, public transport system once these things are in place then people themselves will start realizing that taking your own vehicle out is in fact uh, going to be more time consuming and more painful than maybe hopping onto a bus or a train uh, and and going to wherever you want to go so uh, if you have the proper multimodal public transport system and for short distances it is easier and enjoyable to actually walk or bicycle then the number of vehicles on the roads uh, will go down that itself will start reducing the pollution load and the public transport system should as much as possible be electricity driven and uh, the overall electric system should then start moving towards uh, renewable energy away from coal so there are a lot of pieces there which need to happen at the policy level then only people's behaviors will uh, behaviors will change and it will start reflecting into better air quality and then the final piece of this is for uh, even private vehicles to go uh, electric with preferably solar uh, charging stations so uh, what is happening now now currently is because of uh, uh, you know there is this fascination about technological solutions and it is uh, much easier to push everything on people's heads so there is a lot of uh, hype about around electric vehicles as if everyone shifting to electric vehicles will solve this problem but according to me that is a part of the solution but that's the last piece in the solution there has to be these initial things in place which will basically reduce the number of private vehicles and then you shift those vehicles to uh, to to electricity driven uh, vehicles then in that case also there are still issues around uh, pollution caused by batteries and all of that but if the total number of vehicles is less then the problem also becomes more uh, manageable and solutions can be found for that so there is a series of things that needs to happen and more of it more the onus is more on the uh, policy makers and the city government uh, rather than uh, on the individuals the individuals will respond to that but the initial step has to come from the government <laughs>